Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm back with a very interesting video today. Now, as you can see from the title, we're going to be discussing why women cheat. Okay? Obviously, this is going to be one of two videos. I'm going to be talking about why women cheat in this video, and obviously, I'm going to do another video about why men cheat. Don't get it twisted. I believe men cheat more than women. I believe we cheat more. I believe we cheat over more stupid things as well, like more trivial things, more frequently. However, that does not take away from how devastatingly bad and disloyal a lot of women are. Okay, now, as you guys know, I love women in it. I'm the main male YouTuber in my area, in my sphere, in my kind of genre of YouTube that rides for women. But that doesn't mean, yeah, that I'll let women have a pass. That doesn't mean that I'll just shill and stand for women when I, for no reason. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm the realist, so I'm, I'm literally going to talk about the bad side of women. Now, everyone cheats. Everyone cheats. I'm not saying everyone, like, everyone cheats once in their lifetime. I mean, everyone cheats. Men, women, homosexuals, lesbians, trans, dogs. Young cats, do you know what I'm saying? Everyone cheats. I'm not targeting women here, but but I will not sit here and lie on for women and just say that women don't cheat and this, that. Women cheat, yeah? I have been with so many females who have been in relationships, married. Now, 95% of the time, in fact, maybe even 99% of the time, I don't know that. Do you know what I'm saying? I find that out later. You feel me? I find that out later from their friend or this or that, or I just see it on, do you know what I'm saying? I work it out, whatever. So I've seen it firsthand. Like, what women in relationships have texted me before, what they've sent me before, do you understand? Like, it's, like, if any, if anyone's not gonna trust women, it would be me. Like, seriously, <laughs> if I'm gonna, like, and obviously I trust women, I love women, but if anyone's not gonna trust women, it would be me from the experience I've had with girls in relationships, what they're capable of. Anyway, that was just me setting the scene a little bit here just to give you some context and whatnot. Everyone cheats and women are no exception to that. But here's my reasons on why women cheat on men. The first reason and the main reason, this is definitely the main reason, is that a woman is not emotionally satisfied in their relationship. That could mean that they've exhausted all possible options, they've made sacrifices, they've compromised, they've tried this, they've tried that. They're, they're giving their all emotionally to their partner and they're not getting what they want back. Now that could be the right emotion back, that could be the whatever, whatever, however that dynamic has deteriorated, that's what it is. A woman is not emotionally invested no more or she's emotionally exhausted in this relationship. So when a woman isn't really getting what she wants out of a, like emotionally out of a relationship, she could possibly start looking elsewhere. And that's why you find yeah, a lot more women than men um, cheat emotionally, yeah? So you obviously you've got physical cheating, you've got emotional cheating, and you know, emotional cheating is kind of like almost catching feelings for someone else while you're in a relationship, you know, maybe confiding in another man, confiding in, in a friend so much that, oh, that, you know, that, that man's really a shoulder to cry on, and rah, 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 and all of a sudden they become friends and get closer because that's the person that was listening to her, actually engaging with her, empathizing with her, understanding with her, understanding her. Oh, all of a sudden, that friend, yeah, now they're, now, now she's looking at him, more emotionally, more she's more emotionally invested in him. That's a lot. That's how a lot of women emotionally cheat. But obviously, the physical cheating can be a manifestation of the emotional side of things or the lack of. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's definitely a case with a lot of women. That's that would be the first reason why a woman would cheat or have an affair or look elsewhere in a relationship. No doubt. Now the second reason, yeah, it could it could be that she's not physically satisfied. I don't just mean like, oh, okay, you're not giving her enough sex, so she's gonna look elsewhere. I mean, yeah, I do mean that, but. This also ties in with the first thing, because often you'll find with women that if you suddenly start, stop having sex with your girl, like, and it's only once every two weeks, once every three weeks, once a month, whatever it is, whatever long or short for you, once every two months, once every three months, whatever, it's not always just as simple as, oh, he's not having sex with me, I've got sexual needs, yeah? This also ties in with the emotional side of things, because if you're not sleeping with your woman, she might start thinking, hmm, am I ugly? Is it me? Do you understand? Like, and that's where it, it, it starts getting into kind of like self-esteem issues, insecurity issues. Okay, so it's not just this, okay, he's not giving me, he's not sexually satisfying me. Yeah, that is a reason why she might start looking elsewhere to be sexually satisfied. But I believe that that lack of sex or that lack of affection, that lack of physicality will then play a part in their mentality. 
Gents, you understand here, this is very important. Men in the audience, I know men, you like, like to look at women as these sexual objects, we like to look at them through this male gaze. But if you, if, like, if you stop giving them that um, physicality, yeah, some of them will just be like, oh, I want to get dicked down by someone else. Yeah, some of them will be like that. But a lot of them, it will start affecting their mentality. It will start affecting how they view themselves. Does he not love me anymore? Does he not find me attractive anymore? And then when, and then that kind of leads me on to my third point, which is actually self-esteem issues and security. So we'll talk about that now. A third reason why they might cheat is for that exact reason. So that kind of ties in beautifully. You know, when someone has low self-esteem and they're insecure, they need validation from others. That's not just women, to be honest. A lot of these, a lot of these points can be attributed to men. And I've, got, I've, I've actually got to do a video on this about how men need valid validation way more than they, they think. A lot, I know so many men who get their validation from women and it's not good. They need to be secure in themselves. Anyway, applying it to women now. A woman, if they feel insecure in themselves and they need validation from others, it's going to make it more likely that she's going to seek, look for it elsewhere. Whether, whether that's just getting dick from someone else or whatever, it's a short, yeah, it's only a short term win. It's only a short term satisfaction because you're gonna hate yourself afterwards. But you, you know, you, it might be a short term win. Women need to do that. Do you understand? Women, women might need to do that because they might feel not loved or, and again, by the way, this is no justification for cheating. Let me just put it out there. I forgot to say that at the start of this video. Cheating is wrong, flat out. Anyone, boy, girl, whoever, it's wrong. I'm not, this is not a justification. I'm just explaining my reasons or the reasons why men and women cheat. But yeah, so yeah, okay. If you're not giving her love, she shouldn't be cheating. She should be communicating with you. You should be in a dialogue. You should be saying, I, I don't feel loved. I don't feel like you care about me. You know, I've got these needs, that needs, why are you not? You know, there should be a communication. There is no justification for cheating, but that also could be why. Do you understand? So that's the third reason. Now another reason why a woman will cheat, and this is definitely a reason because men cheat so much, and that is through, that's for retribution, revenge, anger. Do you understand? Now a woman might cheat because we have, <laughs> we, you know, that she might just cheat back. And what can you do? You know, what can you do? I mean, everyone's wrong in that. Everyone's wrong there. You know, it's the first person who cheated is clearly wrong. The person who did it in revenge is clearly wrong because two wrongs don't make a right. And all of a sudden you're just stuck in a toxic cycle then. Do you understand? But that being said, women will definitely do that. When you betray a woman's trust, they feel extremely hurt. Now, when, when a man's trust is broken, our pride's hurt, our ego's hurt, amongst other things, but when a woman's hurt, usually it hurts her, it really hurts her soul, like it hurts their self-esteem fully. So out of anger, out of revenge, to, 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 to make you feel, you as a man, to make you feel as bad as you've made her feel, She'll go out and do it. <clears throat> do you understand? She'll go out and and inflict the, the same pain that you inflicted on her. Um, yeah, it's one of them ones. And if you find yourself in a situation like that, just just let it go, man. It's just like, only going to go toxic. It's only going to go toxic real quick. There's plenty more reasons that I could go through, but the final reason in this video is opportunity. Simple as. Now, this is a prime factor that can be applied to men as well. Okay. Opportunist. An opportunist is someone who's been loyal for the duration of their relationship but goes Marbella with the lads for a weekend or goes Vegas with the lads for a weekend, uh, for a week or whatever, yeah? Because then you're an, you're an opportunist then because you know it ain't really going to come back to them. Do you know what I'm saying? Unless someone snitches or something leaks somehow, it's not going to get back to them. So if you, you take the opportunity, you just think, fuck it, they ain't going to find out, all right? Now that can be applied to men and women. I've met a lot of opportunists in my time. Yeah, I've been to uh, all around the world and I've found out after I've done the matting on a fine honey that she's got a man, do you know what I'm saying? Um, and then I'm just sitting here thinking, rah, you girls, man, you girls. Do you know what I'm saying? What are you girls capable of? You know what I'm saying? I've, obviously, because I've seen it, I've seen men cheat ample times, I've seen women cheat ample times. It's just funny because even though, as I said at the start of this video, men cheat way more and over less things, over like less serious things. Women can cheat in extremely, like, harsh. Like, the, if a woman cheats, yeah, they can really cheat. Like, really take it to a place. And like, like so much so, I'm sitting here thinking, if I was that girl's man, I would never trust women again. The only ones there. <laughs> women can really be, they can cheat in a cruel way. Do you know what I'm saying? In a real kind of, they can get their back blown out by 10 men in the same night. Yo, the other ones there, like 10 men, and then do this and then do that. And then also, well, like, honestly, fam, like, I've, I've been, I've been, I've, I don't mean, you know, I'll leave you, I'll leave you with this. I've had girls send me stuff here, yeah, messages, whatever, other, other stuff, while they're in bed with their man. Do you understand? Like, in bed with their man. I've had girls saying that uh, when they're doing stuff with their man, they think about me 
and and it makes them like whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? So I, I, and I'm sitting here. Obviously, don't get me wrong. Like obviously, some of these things can gas me, but like I'm sitting here thinking, yo. I, I, I might even say to the man, them, yo. Imagine if we were this girl's man, and that like, she's texting next man saying that this, this and that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's wild. It's absolutely wild. So yeah, just because I ride for women in that, it doesn't mean that I just stand for women on a, on a, and I'm just biased all the time. Women are capable of some seriously cruel things, but men are as well. We all are. Like literally, we're all shit. You don't, I don't know why people love competing all the time. It's always this person versus that person or this race versus that race or poor versus rich. Well, that's what it should be all the time. Poor versus rich because they're not a thief in whatever, but everyone's shit. Everyone is shit. Every race is shit. Every sex is shit. Whatever binary, non-binary, cis and that non-cis and this trans and whatever you wanna, whatever pronoun you wanna call it, we're all shit, yeah? We are all shit, <laughs> simple as. Every skin color, every race, every sex, all shit. All capable of the worst, all capable of the best. Yeah, simple as. Let me know your thoughts, man. Have you ever cheated on your man before? Feel free to be honest in the comments. You know, I'm, I'm transparent in my videos. I'd appreciate it if you were transparent in the comment section. Has a girl cheated on you? Have you been cheated on? Like any men in the audience, have you been cheated on? And yeah, also I will do a part two of this because I'm sure there's other things I can talk about still, but um, yeah, either way. Yeah, you can't trust that. <laughs> Peace.